You're likely watching this video because you have lost the purchase order email generated by Ariba and need to submit an invoice to OPG, or you're having trouble locating your order in Ariba. The first portion of this video will show you how to resend yourself that email link to the purchase order if you're using a standard account, and you can skip to this timestamp if you're using an enterprise Ariba account. Your first step is to log into the Ariba network. There are some support buttons if you don't have your username or password. So now that we're in Ariba, let's click on the Workbench tab. If this is your first time in the Workbench tab or have not yet configured your Workbench, you'll need to add tiles to create your Workbench dashboard. Let's get started by clicking Add. So from here, we can include different tiles to cater to your customized dashboard. For optimal alignment with OPG orders, we recommend adding in the order and invoicing tiles. You can pause the video and work step-by-step -step to configure your workbench and follow along with the video. We'll start off by adding the new orders tile and then the changed orders tile and then the orders to invoice tile and then the invoices tile and lastly the orders tile once we're all done hit apply with the workbench all configured, Ariba will display all of the orders and invoices in your account here. Now, the default filter is to display any orders issued from the last 31 days. So you have to change this if your order is greater than 31 days. To do this, click the edit filter button and we can change the creation date to last 365 days to capture everything that was issued in the last year. Now hit apply. Alternatively, if you know the exact purchase order number, you can also try searching the exact PO number. And once your order comes up, click on the blue order number, which will then bring up your order in Ariba and allow you to invoice. Now, if you wanted to take this one step further, you could also resend yourself the email that will bring you directly to this order to invoice in the future. Once you have the order available in your workbench, click on Actions and send me a copy to take. This will generate a new email for you. Now, I'm going to pause the video here because we've made the assumption that you are on your company's Ariba distribution list and commonly receive emails and just lost the one related to this order. However, if you're completely new to your company's profile, you're likely not on your company's Ariba distribution list. So I've linked a video in the description below, which will demonstrate how to change your distribution contact list and add your email to the list in order to receive the email that will be generated here. Once you've clicked send, check your email inbox for the new email that was generated with the purchase order information. This will allow you to invoice against OPG. Now, if you're using an enterprise account, you have a lot more flexibility with managing your orders and you don't actually need this email to submit an invoice. With the enterprise account, let's start on clicking orders at the top and we'll follow that with purchase orders. Now from here, we'll use the search filters function and click on the exact number radio button. From here, enter in the OPG purchase order number. Now that you've been able to locate your order using either your standard or enterprise Ariba account, please follow along with our invoicing videos to help you submit an invoice to OPG.